Hi guys, welcome back and today I'm going to be making another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the no sound issue in the Mercedes W221. This specific vehicle is a 2008 Mercedes S550 with the Harman Kardon sound system. So the issue is that there's no sound coming through the car speakers and other symptoms I also had was of course there's no sound uh, coming through the car speakers and if I go to the audio menu and go to the uh, AM and FM radio, uh, I'm not able to see the channel station and I'm not able to move this uh, needle here uh, with this uh, controller. Also, if I go into uh, MP3, the uh, uh, head unit is not able to recognize the MP3 disc that's in here. And I made sure that there is a disc in there, but it's not able to recognize it and it's not playing it either. It just stays like this. And also another symptom I forgot to add is that if you go into the sound menu and you try to adjust the sound, either that be treble, bass, a bounce fader, or the 3D sound, I was not able to adjust that. Even though I was turning the controller, I was not able to adjust it because the needle to adjust the uh, sound was uh, not moving. It just stayed still. So to diagnose this uh, problem, what you're going to need is this fiber optic looper. Uh, you can find these on Amazon and uh, this is what you're gonna need to diagnose the problem with. So let's just get started. So the first thing you wanna do is get access to all of these modules over here that are on the rear driver's side of the car. So the main modules we're gonna be focusing on are the amplifier, the satellite radio module, and the voice control module. So, and you might notice uh, that this amplifier looks a bit different than the Mercedes amplifier, and we're gonna be getting into that in a couple of minutes, but right now we're gonna be diagnosing the problem first. So the first thing you wanna do is go to the voice control module, take out this uh, connector right here, and there's like a button in the back, I'm not sure if you can see, yeah, you'll feel it, you'll squeeze that and pull this connector out. And as you can see, this the connector is out now. Now you have to grab your uh, uh, fiber optic looper and you have to plug it into these holes. As you can see, I plugged in the fiber optic looper into the fiber optic connection uh, for the voice control module. And you do want to make sure that uh, you match the arrows properly. Uh, as you can see, there's two arrows here and they are following the flow of the fiber optic loopers arrows and just make sure uh, the arrows are correct and now what you're gonna do is go into the car and you're gonna be uh, looking if you got your functions back and let's go do that now as you can see we're back in the car now and we're gonna be seeing if we got our functions back so if I turn on the car uh, you'll see that the stations are still not there and I'm still not able to move the needle on the radio menu with the controller and if i go into the mp3 menu it's still not detecting a uh, disc which is the mp3 cd so that means this module is most likely okay now if we go back into the trunk we're gonna be unplugging this uh, looper from the uh, voice control module connector and we're gonna be plugging the connector back in as you can see it's back in and now we're going to be getting the loop and we're going to be uh, doing the same thing for this uh, satellite radio module. As you can see, I have plugged in the fiber optic loop to the uh, connector for the satellite radio module. And again, just make sure to match the arrows. As you can see, it's going in the same direction of flow. And now we're going to be going back in the car and seeing if we got our functions back. I forgot to add guys, uh, in my specific case for this vehicle, I had two modules that were bad. Uh, one of the modules were the satellite radio module, the other module was amplifier. Okay guys, we're back in the car now and we're going to be seeing if we got our functions back. As you can see, we have our functions back. We can see the radio station now and we can actually hear sound. And you might be wondering, uh, I thought you said two modules are bad. And yes, they were. I will be getting into that right now. Now we know that the satellite radio module is bad. 
And we know it's bad because we got our functions back when we plugged in the fiber optic loop to the connection for the satellite radio module. And you might be wondering, I thought you said that you had two modules that were faulty. And I did. So previously, I had the original Mercedes amp plugged into this car, which came from the factory, and I had no sound. Uh, after I bypassed the satellite radio module with this loop, I still had no sound. I had the functions back of the radio station, and it was recognizing the MP3 uh, disc as well, but I was not able to get any sound from the system. Since I was still getting no sound from the system, even after bypassing the satellite radio module with this fiber optic loop and still getting the controls back on the head unit, but still having no sound, that's when I knew the original Mercedes amplifier was bad. So what I did was I got a used amp from a 2011 Hyundai Equus and I plugged it into the car and I got sent my sound back, as you can see from the radio channel. There are both pros and cons when using this amplifier instead of uh, original Mercedes amplifier. The cons that come with the Hyundai amplifier are that you don't have any instant real-time volume control. So if I try to decrease the volume from the steering wheel or increase the volume, as you can see, it's not gonna work. Even if I use this dial here, the volume will not increase or decrease but i will show you how to increase or decrease the volume but it won't be instant and also another con with the system is that you will not be able to listen to your radio it will not detect the sound from the radio even though it will show the radio station over here you will also not be able to adjust your sound settings if you go into the sound menu as you can see, I'm able to move the dial for the sound, but it will not change how the sound comes to the speakers because it won't work. The pros for using the Hyundai amplifier are that you do get your sound back even though you're not able to adjust the sound how you like it. And another pro of the Hyundai amplifier is that for me, it was much cheaper than buying a used or new uh, Mercedes amplifier or even uh, repairing the uh, broken one even though you're not able to adjust the sound how you like it the sound that already comes from the Hyundai amplifier does sound pretty good and I am very happy with how it sounds and I'm also able to play music from my phone to figure out how to play music from your phone through the car speakers check out my video that I will link in the description down below if I find out how to fix some of the issues I stated in the cons list, I will be making an update video. So in conclusion, parts wise, I got an amp from a 2011 Hyundai Equus that I replaced the Mercedes original amp with. And for the satellite radio module, I did not get a new module actually. What I did was instead of buying a new module, I just left this looper in um this fiber optic looper into the connection for this satellite radio module and it works perfectly fine for me and for the connections on the hyundai amp all i did was get the fiber optic connection for the amp that was connected to the mercedes original amp and i connected it to this hyundai amp and i also connected these two and that's what i did for the connections for the amp to adjust the volume with the Honda amp, what you need to do is go to the dial, turn up or down the volume. As you can see, I'm going to be turning it up. You turn off the unit, head unit, and turn the head unit back on. You can also do the same thing as well by using the mute button instead of using the on button. And you can also use the steering wheel controls like this. If I turn it up, mute it, as you can see the mute, and I unmute, it's going to get louder. And if you like this video, please leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below if this worked for you. Thank you for watching. Bye.